I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches my YouTube channel. And if you don't think a Savannah Monitor will play tug of war, you're wrong. Because they will. And they're actually really good at it. There we go. So if you guys like my videos, oh, he's strong. Please go ahead and leave a like. That helps grow my channel. Also, please comment on my videos. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I get to answer questions and see that you guys care. Uh, and if you're not a member of the family, you can go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It helps me grow the channel even more. And I've listened to you guys and I do have a Patreon down below. Oh, the alligator death roll. So please go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, bell icon. Hey guys, we have Mongo here. He's woken up from his brumation. Um, and he's getting ready to shed actually. This is good. You can see this, the shed is just about to happen on his head, which is really good because him being an older bearded dragon, they don't shed often. But with Mongo, remember, he's stunted for his size, even though he looks, that's why he looks so chonky. But that leads to a problem. He will, so what do bearded dragons normally do when they wake up from brumation? They take a huge crap, a huge urate plug, because all that water just sitting in there in a huge dump. Now, with Mongo, what can happen after his brumation every time is he will have a sperm plug every single time. So I need to watch this because I need to know to get rid of it, guys. And you have a stunted bearded dragon who, and really just any male bearded dragon. Sometimes, though, um, it happens to normal males, but almost always it happens to stunted males is when your male wakes up from brumation, if he's still acting lethargic or still not eating, not looking right, maybe his poo is really watery, because bearded dragon poop, guys, the, the, the stool itself, the turd, should, should be could have some moisture, but shouldn't be sitting in a pool of water. Chances are he's got a sperm plug in his vent that's preventing things from working correctly. Now, I've done a video on this before, uh, but here's another one because he's up from brumation again. So we got an emergency sperm plug removal. Um, also, I want to show you guys his femoral pores. Man, they look good. They look good. So I'm going to do this really quick because he's got to be tilted a little bit. I'm just going to get him in position. And remember, they don't have a diaphragm. And if you guys stick around the channel, you hear me say this often. But if you're new, that's why I got to say it. So bearded dragons, they they don't have a diaphragm. So when you when you flip them over like this, their chest cavity collapses and pushes down on their lungs, making it hard for them to breathe because the weight of their chest cavity is now on their lungs. So sometimes, normally in babies, actually they can still breathe being flipped over because their chest cavity is so light. But in full size adults. It is extremely labored breathing uh, and sometimes complete suffocation. Not always, but 90% of the time, comfortably to say that number that high. So we're going to flip him kind of upright like this. Uh, so, so you can turn him, you can stand him straight up. And a lot of times people confuse that because I'll hold Mongo with his stomach facing the camera, but with his head up and his tail down, he can still breathe. Um, being upright like this, he can still breathe. That's fine. This this is still allowing breath. It's when his back and his stomach is up like that. So I'm going to get the tweezers. And I know he normally has a sperm plug on the right side. So right here, he's completely comfortable. He's completely capable of breathing. But we're going to focus uh, in here. We're going to go get the sperm plug. Okay, or we're going to try to, I guess, for the camera. Let's see, we open his vent. Let me make sure I'm centered here. Let me actually, first, guys, I guess I should say, let me make sure one's in there. Oh, yep. There it is. Right there. You can see it. So, we come in. We open the vent. Uh, and you guys, you got to, you got to get it out. Gotta get it out, and I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna get it out off camera because it's gonna be too hard to do while on camera, and I don't want to cause Mongo uh, any distress, any unnecessary distress. Because I'm, 
I'm sure having your vent uh, opened and having your big sperm plug grabbed. All right. Now, what I've done is I've taken it out. That way we can get a good grip on it. And watch this, guys. Look at that. Nice and slow. We don't want it to break. This is coming out from his hemipene. It's a nice big guy. There it is. Okay, he can go down and breathe. People are gonna yell at me, no, no gloves. Guys, I wash my hands after. Look at the size of that sperm plug, right? Uh, it's more gooey here, but this is the part that had oxidized outside uh, and had hardened. And this is would cause major, major issues. If we put it down for scale by Mongo, it's about the size of his arm. That is big, guys. So I would say it's about two inches. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. So, it is very important we get that out. Now, he's going to feel instantly better right now. Even probably, to be honest, as soon as the whole dried end was removed, he probably feel, felt great. Now, what I'm going to do is pick him up, and I'm just going to do a quick check to make sure that there's nothing else. And there's not. His vent is nice and healthy. It's nice and clean. Uh, and there's nothing in there. Now, I'm going to take you to his tank because I want you to see how I knew this was going on. Okay, there he is. He's up on his hammock. He's all healthy uh, and happy. And remember, guys, in terms of brumation, Mongo was the first bearded dragon to go into brumation. That doesn't mean necessarily he was going to be the first one out. It just so happened that he was. Now, coming by, because I, I, you check the cages every day. I've seen him basking. So he's heated. He's heated up. And then I saw this. And I show poo all the time. So on the left, guys, you have urate. There's the giant plug of, of pee. And on the right, you have his stool. But look at the stool on the normal healthy log there. But look at the stool here. It's much wet. It's, it's wet, but, but that in and of itself, and I'm not going to touch it, guys, but that in and of itself does not necessarily mean I should flag. Look at the newspaper substrate that I use, and this is why I really like using newspaper or paper towel. Um, look at the wet pattern. So to me, that's how I knew that this means he was coming out of brumation, and this is how I also knew he was going to have... Uh, a sperm plug and actually I just noticed this right here which that is yep oh yeah and there's a little piece on it uh, part of the sperm plug so he was probably trying this was probably sticking out of his vent and he was trying to rub it off here and that broke off and then the only piece was inside his vent so it's just important guys you know if you have an animal of any kind well heck even children, like babies, that you're changing their diaper. You know, you can't be grossed out by poop because poop and pee, their bathroom, it tells you a lot. But okay, this was this guy's emergency sperm plug removal. Because uh, if they can't close their vent or they have impaction, that equals infection. And then that normally, normally equals death or at least a shortened lifespan. I'm going to get this taken care of. Thanks, you guys, all for watching. Thank you, guys. We're pushing towards 100,000 subscribers. I, I can't even believe it. That means a, a reptile unboxing of the silver play button, I guess. I don't know how I'm going to do. I have to do something where they get involved with it. Um, but thank you guys so much for subscribing. I can't believe how much the channel has grown. And a lot of you are not skipping the ads, so I'm actually starting to get ad revenue now 
which is pretty nice. If I get $30 this week, $40 that week, that's great. You watching those ads really help out. Uh, I appreciate it, and the reptiles appreciate it, even with that judging eye. So take care, guys. Thank you for like, commenting, subscribing, and Patreon people, I love you all. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.